everyone, it's Julia. I have a sweatshirt transformation or, or uh, updo, redo that I wanted to share with you today. This is a new sweatshirt. I do have family visiting and so I haven't been doing a lot of sewing, but I hope you get some insp inspiration from this. It all started with this beautiful piece of fabric that I picked up from my thrift store. There's two pieces. It's a decorator fabric, so it is a bit heavier. Um, but I love the colors and it has a uh, reversed side to it. So both sides are just really, really cool. I'm using the Comfort Colored Sweatshirts. This is the sweatshirts that I normally use. It's a new sweatshirt, um, but I do want to turn it inside out. I'm just going to use it so that inside is outside. It's a really soft, beautiful color um, and just real cozy looking. So just flip that around. I'm going to cut this label off or this is this has the size on it and I'm just going to um, zigzag that into place on the inside. There's also a label on the side of these sweatshirts. This is the content label and I'm going to clip that off too just so it doesn't show on the outside and we'll be placing that underneath the other the other label. Now for a little bit of deconstruction, I decided to cut the bottom band off, but leave that seam. That seam is actually going to be what the, it's going to finish the bottom of this. You can kind of see it there. It has a nice look, a nice finished look. And once that's cut off, I am going to cut the sleeves as well. So this is going to be a three quarter length sleeve. It's going to hang right below the elbow. I just cut the one off and then using the using that piece to get the the correct um, size on this piece too. Just cutting that. And then just to add a little bit of detail to the bottom edge and just to give it a little bit more wiggle room, I'm just cutting, slicing up and then turning this piece back. I love the contrast of the outside showing in this um, when you when you flip it. Just kind of figured out where the center front is and I'm going to be slicing that just to give it a little bit more ease over the neck. And then too I'm going to turn up the bottom of each of these sleeves. I'm at my sewing machine now and I have my regular foot on but I do have a, a applique stitch almost similar to a blanket stitch um, and you're going to see it up close here in just a second but this is the this is the front edge or that center front and I am just stitching both of them and I do hold my zip my um, I hold it in place when I start and finish I don't know how to describe it and I don't know if it's really good for your sewing machine but it'll go back and forth several times just to make sure that that is a secure stitch. I'm at the bottom edge now and I do the same thing. I'll hold it in place here at the beginning and um, it'll go back and forth a few times just to make sure that stitch is, is nice and secure. And then I'm going to just flip this around and just keep going. And you're, Again, you're going to see it a little bit closer here. How, how it looks but you can see that it's just a really nice way to finish off that bottom edge and now doing the same thing around the sleeves with the same stitch. Now to figure out the design. I know I want it abstract looking. This is a real abstract really cool geometric piece. I do have four of these shirts that to do. That's why I'm cutting, um, cutting more than I need for this particular shirt. I just decided I want some of that back to show because it's so such a cool cool look and I thought I would just tip that edge down um, just spraying that with temporary spray I'll, everything will be listed down below for you if you're interested this temporary spray is is just a nice way to keep everything in place until you get to your sewing machine 
a lot of times I'll use heat, heat and bond light or like a paper adhesive that I can iron on, but it doesn't really work very well for a heavier fabrics. Um, it just takes too much heat to really activate that. And so I'll do use a temporary spray quite a bit. This green piece that you see is part of that band that I cut off and I thought it'd be fun just to add a little bit of that into the design. And so again, I am just, just fiddling around here. I'm just kind of showing you my method. Thought that'd be fun just to tuck a little bit of that in. I want to add just a little bit of this piece to this just as a strip of just the circles. My little summer shop at the flea market was open for three days over the 4th of July weekend and I had a chance to do some shopping. Uh, this one vendor had a um, vintage laces and tri and some really cool linens. I'm going to be doing a, just a haul video maybe in a couple days just to sh kind of share with you some of the really cool things that I'll be that I picked up and I'll be using in some of my ne upcoming videos. Adding some of those some of those circles to the bottom of the sleeve. Just pinning that into place. It's one of the perks of having a shop at the flea market. And then I'm just going to add one to the bottom flap. I did just take this to my sewing machine and zigzag it, and you're going to see that. This was a cool trim, just a piece in, that I had in my stash. And I'm going to cut some, it's the same yellowish green color. And you can see how I just, I zigzagged that. I'm thinking about adding maybe some buttons or some beads to some of those circles as well. And here's the entire sweatshirt just laying. Thank you everybody who's joined me today. Hope you had got some inspiration. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.